What's up everyone, it's Diedrich Webb. Welcome back to the channel. If you guys read the title, we're gonna be going completely into sound switch lighting control software in today's video. Yes, so for you guys that have been following the channel and watching the gig logs, you guys know that I've switched over to using sound switch lighting control for pretty much the last year now. There's a couple reasons for why I've actually completely switched over now to using sound switch lighting control. Little background, I used to use Shave Show Express on the channel. I actually have a complete lighting playlist where I go in depth and teach you guys exactly everything you need to know when it comes to programming Shave Show Express. So if you guys would like to learn more about DMXing and using Shave Show Express, go check out that playlist and it literally is a step-by-step. -step. There's like six videos in there that go every everything in detail as to how to program all of the lighting, including movers in Shave Show Express. And I will also preference, I still do use Shave Show Express for lighting only events when I can, because Shave Show Express does have more customization built into it to really customize your light show and do really intricate stuff. The main reason why I switched away from using Show Express is because with using Show Express, my light show was only as good as my lighting operator. So Shavish Show Express runs on a separate laptop and basically if you guys go, guys go watch the videos, we program a bunch of buttons that do different things with the lights. Now, how good my operator is at listening to the music and matching the tempo and dropping those strobes when the stuff jumps off the ground, all, all that sort of stuff, all comes down to the lighting operator. Now, for me and my business, I am the owner of the company, so I have a lot of variety when it comes to the assistants that come help me at my events. Normally, they're the newbies that really don't know much about lighting and they're not really good lighting operators. So my light show really never looked that great when I had my newbies there, with the exception of a couple guys that actually knocked it out of the park. So one, the main reason why I switched over to SoundSwitch is SoundSwitch will actually work directly with your DJ computer. It runs on your DJ computer, so it's actually right there. I use Serato, you can use Virtual DJ, whatever you wanna use, but it literally runs on the same computer. So you'll have SoundSwitch running and Serato running, and SoundSwitch will be listening and to the exact music that you are playing in Serato, and it'll match the light show to the exact BPM, the exact tempo of the music that you are playing. So it removes that human error factor of changing up the light show and it automatically shuffles through eight to 32 different pre-programmed lighting sequences to keep the light show looking fresh. Now, it's not 100% hands-off and as you guys have seen in the videos, I use their sound switch control one, which is basically a MIDI controller. So this hooks into the computer as well as my DJ controller or my DJ setup. And this gives me a little bit more human controls that I can do to add a little bit of customized touches to the light show. Like if I wanna reach over on a drop and quickly hit the strobe button, I can do that. Or if I wanna switch between my different banks of eight different light shows, and I'll go into how I have mine set up, but basically there's different banks of like single combinations of color, double combinations, really complex, crazy combinations, and fades, so that I can quickly jump over there and match the vibe of the music I'm playing during that portion or that set. And of course, you have all kinds of override. If you need to just go straight to white, if you need to go straight to red, you can set up customized scenes. You actually have a fader in, in the corner that you can dim it. We'll get into that all in this video, but, but basically now by going to sound switch, I'm now able to not have to bring a secondary computer to run my lighting and I don't have to worry about a lighting operator doing a good or bad job for my events. I have full control over it, and for the most part, it runs itself. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the sound switch software, how it all works, how you program it, et cetera. I won't be going into too much detail on how you program it because I actually didn't even program this myself. My right-hand man, Marcellus, program this software and this has actually been able to allow us to streamline our lighting across the whole entire company. So he went in, set up all the DMX profiles for all the different lights we use, which happen to be all of the both lighting fixtures that you'll see behind me. And you guys will actually be able to get your hands on the exact same lighting program software that we use and is set up to run with all of the both lighting fixtures. So basically you guys can easily jump into DMX lighting 
without the hurdle of knowing how to program. And we'll get into more detail on that at the end of the video as to where you can go to get that and how it all works. But let's go ahead and jump to the computer and talk about sound switch. So we're on the sound switch home screen right here. And um, I've actually gone a step further because I'm already logged in under my license. Sound switch is a subscription based service unless you were one of the lucky ones when they first released and bought a lifetime subscription for one price. It, it actually is a monthly subscription now. As of filming this video, it's $7.99 a month. I don't have any affiliate codes or anything to give you guys a discount because I don't work directly with sound switch for anything. But I will say sound switch is amazing when it comes to customer support. They are very fast to get back to you. If you have any issues, you can email them. And uh, we love working with companies like that to solve our problems super quick and keep us up and running with our light shows. So on the main screen here, we have edit and perform. Let's quickly look over at the edit screen itself. Now I've already imported in the light show that we use. So the beauty of sound switch is basically anybody can go program it and then they can share their whole entire file with you. That's how you guys will be able to get your hands on the exact same one that we use. This is the both lighting USA April 23 version. There are new versions to come. And basically once you log in you, this will be the home screen like normal. If you have our program to go ahead and add it in, you basically we go to file open project and you would go to your sound switch folder and you would add in your exact light shows you can see right here we have fsl 2022 fsl 2022 with cold sparks we have the main and we have our sound switch both lighting april 2023 version so you would just click on one of those and import in that sound switch light show to get working with it. By default, if you just wanted to start off with sound switch by yourself, I'll quickly explain everything. Over here on the right, these are kind of your tracks or your folders, however you wanna call it. And this is where you will dump in your fixtures. Uh, there's a DMX button at the top here and you can see if we open it up, these are all the program fixtures that we already have programmed in the software. So we have the wash movers, we have the both lighting spot movers, we have the IR4s, we have the S4s, the S6s, the S6 minis, the X4 minis, all of those are programmed in here. We even have the cold sparks from both lighting and we have some additional lighting. We use some ADJ InnoSpot Pros for some of our, uh, some of our other guys use those for their events. So we have those programmed in here and it's all set up. But right over here, you can see we basically have all the fixtures set up. Over here, we can assign them to different groups which will coordinate to that dimmer. This dimmer right here on the MIDI controller, you can actually grab one of those groups and dim those fixtures quickly. So for me, these spot movers are extremely aggressively bright. So those are all set over here to group two so that I can quickly override dim just the spot movers if they're too bright. Same thing with the up lights. I can dim those up lights real quick because they are on group one. So you can go over here and select the group. Over here on the left, we have the effects that are built into the sound switch software. We have the positions. We actually went in and set up all of these different positions. So you can either click add or I'm gonna double click to show you. But basically you can go into your different moving head fixtures and you can set those actual coordinate DMX positions and click apply. This is one of the only things we do when it comes to the software when we go to every single event. We go to the center of the dance floor and we readjust the movers to make sure they are perfectly set on the center of the dance floor. So we just go in there and then you can literally click on this spot mover and you can click, and I'm not gonna do it, but you can click and drag and it will live move that mover to the position you want and you can make sure it's set perfectly. Below that we have different attribute cues that you can utilize that are built into this. And let's just go over here to the right on the A. These are all the different auto loops here at the bottom. So sound switch has four different banks and these banks, perfectly coordinate to the four banks you'll find on the control one. That's why we love using this controller because sound switch made it perfectly mimic the exact controls you have in sound switch. And now out of the box, sound switch does set them up with some color combinations and little cues like that. But I'm gonna be honest, they're kind of garbage. They're, they're not that great. So this is the main part of the programming that Marcellus went in and did. So each one of these is set up with different color combinations and attributes to make it really cool. Bank one is all of our two color pulses. Bank two is all of our three color combinations. Bank three is all of our complex 
different things. And I'm gonna show you guys some of these with the movers and lighting that I have behind you for a little bit of a demo. And then bank four is all of our fades. We set this up because it makes it really easy at our events to match the vibe and the energy of the music that we are playing. So when I first start off open dance floor, I'm gonna set it to bank one and it's gonna cycle through all those different color combinations. Again, matching the exact same tempo of the music, but the pace of those are just two color pulses. It's not crazy. And also all of the mover attributes are set as well to all of these different combinations. And we'll see that in a second. So two color pulses are kind of just, you know, two color pulses. The movers are moving around doing some really cool intricate patterns. The lighting's doing some cool stuff, but not crazy. Three color combos, it gets a little bit more intense. So if I'm in like a, a hip hop set, say I'm doing some 70 to 80 BPM stuff, you know, not too aggressive. I'll start in bank one or I'm doing some opening all ages stuff. When I pick it up into like maybe a, the 100 BPM range and I'm playing some kind of energetic stuff, I might go to bank two. Then when I'm playing 128, I'm playing the EDM, I'm playing some really jump up and down music, fist pump, we're gonna go to bank three because that's all of the complex crazy movements so I can set the vibe. And then you know if I drop it down with a slow dance, I just click bank four, that way all of the lights go to a nice fade combination. Again, in any of these banks, it's still matching the tempo of the music which is so cool for sound switch to do. So again, down here at the bottom, these are all the ones that we went through and programmed all the different color combinations. We programmed all the different mover, uh, different combinations of how the movers move, how fast they're moving, how slow they're moving. All that was done in the programming and literally I'm looking at the screen right now and I couldn't tell you what any of this does except for if I wanted to change that color purple right there, I could click on it. I, I think I could click on it. Maybe I click on it down here. This is literally how much I know about this software. I don't know much when it comes to the programming side of things. I just know how to make it work for me. And Marcellus has gone through basically utilizing this with our team for over a year now and tweaking and perfecting it to make it perfect. But again, these are all the different combinations down at the bottom that we've already gone ahead and programmed. Let's quickly jump over to settings real quick here. So in the general, this is where you're gonna select the DJ program that you are gonna be using, whether it's a virtual DJ, Serato, Engine DJ, or you can do a MIDI sync in as well. I'm not entirely sure what that does, but for the most part, virtual DJ users, you're covered. Serato DJ, Engine DJ, you're all set. Rekordbox, you guys didn't know Rekordbox tried to make a competitor lighting software to sound switch and um, let's just say it's not great. It only has like RGB control. It doesn't even do like amber white or any, it's bad. Then you can go over to library. This is where it's just gonna make sure it knows where your libraries are at so that it can read the music that you're playing. Performance mode here, this is where you are gonna set what actually on your DJ controller actually adjusts basically what's happening. These are the settings I use. I like to use up fader only. I leave it on one to four decks even though I'm only using one to two. It just allows in case I do switch over to deck three, I have it. And then I don't have any of these options selected, but if you wanted to select them, you could like up fader intensity only, auto strobe etc but for what I have programmed I don't need to do that I do have on auto loops I have it set to randomize so what that means is when I'm on bank one here there are eight different color combinations and I don't want it to just play in order on repeat I want it to randomly pick different color combinations and bounce around between those eight different modes to make the show look fresh to make it not look repetitive and then I have override scripted tracks there is a further element you can go to in sound switch where you can actually script exact tracks. So you can go in there and actually script out Little John shots to make sure that it strobes on every cue and it's actually beautifully perfect. Up front and honest with you guys, I do not think you need to do that. I've been using this for a while now. This thing works 90% just as well as having a really good lighting operator. It's not as good, but it, it's perfect like no one's going to complain and everyone that comes to your events is going to be wowed by the lighting especially in comparison to using just sound active lighting lastly hardware this is where you basically any hardware you're going to be using and in this case the only hardware we're using is again the sound switch control one which we'll get into in a bit all right so again i'm not big on the programming so for the most part the only thing i ever use in the actual edit mode is to adjust my movers to make sure their positioning is correct. For the most part, I spend all of my time in perform. Now, when I jump into perform, I'm gonna see the different venues that I can select from. One of those venues is the one that we imported in the light show. You can also can upload a venue to your actual control one itself. We haven't done that, but that is something you can do is upload it directly to the actual sound switch control one. Again, 
Don't have to do that. So I'm just gonna click on Bow Flighting USA April 2023. And now we are in to our thing. And you'll see that this replicates all of the controls you'll find on the control one. So for the most part, I don't even use the screen. And actually during my light shows, during the events, I'm never really looking at the screen ever. You'll see these are the performance modes. Again, performance modes are all up here at the top. This controller literally replicates exactly everything you see on the screen is on here. You can see actually that I can adjust all of this right here. So you'll see that movement rate. See how it's moving right there? I'm actually moving the knob right here. A lot of the performance modes are overrides. These are all those same auto loops that we talked about, but you can actually see where they're at here. If you guys wanted to go in and reprogram the color of one of these buttons that coordinates on here, you can do that as well. Static looks, we'll get to that in a second. I'll get back to that because static looks is super important. Edit mode, not much there that I'm going to talk about. External mixer and standalone. Again, I don't use any of these controls. Let's jump back to static mode. There's static looks. These are super important. There is also a button on the control one to go to static looks. So you basically, you can cycle through your auto loops or your static looks. And all of these are basically those intro kind of cue points. So when it comes to, you know, whenever you walk into a room and all the up lights are one solid color, this is where you set that up. This is also where we have it programmed to be able to cue our cold sparks to activate. So static look one at the top, this is what we call like an intro door scene. This is the scene that we want the lights to be at when everyone walks into the room for the first time. This is what we want the lights to be at during dinner. If we wanted to change between like maybe cocktail and dinner, we can set up two different ones. But basically we're gonna right click click on one and we're gonna go to edit. And this is where we can adjust the exact color of every single light. So up here at the top, we have two different DMX channels assigned to all of our S4, S6, IR4s. Let me just preference that in the DMX world, these all of the both lighting up lights work the exact same. So your S4, your S4 mini, your S6, your S6 mini, and your IR4s all work on the same DMX lighting profile. I will preference the RF4s are not programmed in here and the RF4s do not work the same as those other lights. So whatever lights I wanna activate, I basically set the check mark to here. I can click on it, I can adjust the color. If I wanna do just a pure white, I have a fader for pure white, amber, or UV. So I can go in here and custom set the lights for the intro door scene. I can match the wedding color, etc. For the movers, I can go in, I can either set there and basically turn them off by putting zero intensity or all the way up. This is kind of your dimmer, so you can set how bright or how dim it is. I can also adjust that position. So as you see here, pretty much all of these are set to center of the dance floor because that is the intro basically position for all these. A lot of times for me, the only uh, intro door scene I'm making is just the up lights one color and all the movers are set to off. But that right there is pretty much all you guys need to know when it comes to in here on the static looks. These bottom ones here, these are already set up for the cold sparks. So the top one here at the top, that is our intro door scene. Number eight here at the bottom is the same intro scene. So we set up the up lights to be the same color as number one. The only difference is this number eight here at the bottom will activate the cold sparks. And then when we're done, we just go back to number one. And I'll show you guys how that works in a second. But what you need to know, if you're utilizing sound switch with cold sparks, you need to set up basically number one, I'm gonna set up number one so that all of my lights are white and then I'm gonna go down the number eight. Oh shit, shit. Woo! Let me turn that off for a second. <laughs> I had the cold spark hooked up and it went off <laughs> but when I'm trying to demo I don't want to do that so click edit here and then I want to set those colors to be the exact same so that when I switch between one and eight the up light color doesn't change. They basically stay the same. The only difference is that eight is going to kick the cold sparks on and the reason why you need this is for the first dance. So when the couple is doing their first dance and you have all the lights solid white and then you're going to hit the cold sparks for their first dance all you do is go down the eight hit it launch the cold sparks go back to one done. Now when you're partying during open dancing over here on the right we have the just basically off and on for the cold sparks. So red of course is off, green, hit it, cold sparks go off, all the lights keep doing whatever combinations you have set if you're on bank one, bank two, bank four, whatever. Up here at the top, number 25, this is for the very end of the night and that is your clean out function. If you guys are utilizing cold spark machines, you need to clean them out in terms of shooting off all the leftover sparks that are in the unit. So we went ahead and programmed that in here as well. And again, I keep saying we programmed, Marcellus programmed all this. I could show you guys how to program this, but I'm not really good at it. And the biggest thing about this video is I'm just trying to show you guys what sound switch can do. If you guys wanna go down the rabbit hole of trying to program this yourself, you can. 
I personally did not go down that rabbit hole. I got a person to program it for me and we're gonna be bringing that to you guys. Again, we'll talk about that at the end of the video, but you guys can actually download this exact same program and start using it at your events with all of your lights. You will not have to program a single thing except for setting your static colors and setting your positions of your movers for the intro doors. All the other positioning, it'll be done. With that said, let's show some demos. <laughs> so I set up one of our Pro X tables. These are kind of our go-to DJ booths that we use in the company, unless we're using the big furniture booth like you guys have seen in my gig logs. I have a DDJ Rev7 here, Pioneer DDJ Rev7 for my DJ controller to show you guys how this all works. I'm using my HP Spectre laptop. You can use whatever computer you want. I have guys my company that use MacBooks. I have guys that use Windows. It doesn't matter. It all works. I have one USB plugged in here that's to a USB hub that allows me to plug into the controller and to our sound switch control one. This piece of hardware right here is pretty much the only piece of hardware that you need to buy to really utilize a sound switch to the fullest. You really need to get yourself a MIDI controller and this is the best one to get. And currently right now, this is actually on sale on Amazon for $249. I'll link in the description down below, but also also, we'll talk about at the end of the video in terms of what you need to get yourself fully set up and ready to run with SoundSwitch. And then we are using a both lighting wireless DMX transmitter. So this is just your standard Chinese wireless DMX transmitter or your donor. Sometimes use the donor brand, the Chingli brand. We sell them at Both Lighting USA as well. It doesn't matter. They're all the same thing. It's a wireless DMX transmitter that transmits the DMX signal to all of your lights. If you have S4 lights or IR4s like these they have the wireless dmx transmitter built into them which is beautiful as you can see we have a green so that is what i have set up for our demo today to show you guys that this is all programmed and ready to go for all of these different fixtures it's also programmed for the wash movers the s6 model of up lights and it's programmed for all the different up lights that both lighting makes if you have s6s s6 minis s4 minis s4s ir4s they all work the same this does not work with any of the rf models though only the new IR4s. So now let me shut off the lights and let's show you guys what these lights can do. All right, so I took my mic out so that I can do a little bit more of you guys hearing the music and going through the sequences. Just so you guys know, there are two different DMX channels that we use for the up lights so that you can have an alternating pattern. We use 243, 253, and then our movers are separately controlled. So we have two different mover profiles for both the spots and the wash movers, and then the cold sparks, of course, are separate as well. So we're gonna be playing some non-copyright music, and I'm gonna be showing you guys all the different color combinations that we have pre-programmed. We're gonna go through bank one through bank four, and I will announce what those are as we go through as well. So we're gonna try to showcase all the different options and I'll also be talking about when I can hit the strobe button and all that. And as you can see, as I'm moving my hand here through the song, the lights are automatically starting to change. So let's go ahead and play some non-copyrighted music. We'll go through it. Bank two now. Okay, so now we're going to go to bank three, and these are the most complex movements available. Let's look at the fades.
That right there was a quick demo of the four different banks with some non-copyrighted music. Of course, the show looks a lot better with actual music that was created for our environments. Go check out my gig logs if you guys really want to see what these shows have done. Again, every gig I've been doing for the last year is utilizing the Sound Switch Control software. Check them out. They're epic. You can see a lot of how these movers and stuff are working. I don't have any wash movers in this one as well. And you can go check that out in some of the gig logs. And I'll link some really good ones below that you guys can go check out, especially my latest two to see how these all work. All right, guys. So now I want to show you guys what the uplights do when it comes to the overrides. So I'm actually going to leave some music playing in the background. I just muted the track so that you guys don't hear it out here. But light show's going on, and I'm going to show you guys now with my phone camera here on the sound switch control. So over here on the sound switch control one, this is what we're looking at in terms of interface. Majority of this stuff at the top, you're never going to touch. This is your toggle between USB 1 or 2. It really doesn't matter which one you're in. Just make sure the toggle matches, and if it doesn't match, it'll tell you to switch it over. For the most part, the only thing you're going to hit up here on the top buttons is the strobe button right here. And by default, the strobe's actually going to be set at like 50%. And I don't know if you can tell on footage, but it's, it's very random and it's very slow. And when I want to hit the strobe button, I want it to be fast. So I normally set this at like 80 to 90%, and that normally yields a really good strobe effect at my events. So you can hit strobe and you can instantly strobe whatever it is that's going on. Again, I mentioned earlier, if I'm playing EDM Rager and the drop's coming, I can hit that strobe button right on the side, add some energy to the event. Just a little bit of adding a touch to the event. We also have all of our color overrides here. So if I hit red, every single light is gonna switch to red. If I hit orange, everything's going orange, yellow, green, or this is more of a, te uh, te a teal. That's your true green. That's your yellow. This is a blue. That is going to be a purple. And this is going to be your pink. So those are all your override buttons. You also have a white here and you have blackout. Again, you can do some cool stuff. Oh, and you got a UV. And you'll see right here that there is a button below it that says white hold, black hold, and UV hold. So what you can do is you can come up here and hit shift. And if you hit shift white, it's going to lock white and you'll see it flashes to indicate that it's on a hold. Same thing if you do shift blackout, you are now in blackout and you're holding the blackout. So, you know, at the end of the night, if you wanted to just do shift white, all the lights are white, everyone go home at the end of the night. You can also do shift blackout, shift UV for a UV session. Your options are kind of endless. One of the most common things you'll see me do at my events is I will, if there's a drop and a really intense drop, I'll go over there, I'll hit the blackout with one finger and then I'll be ready to hit white strobe. So I'll hit white strobe, so all the lights are white strobing. And then I can actually do white strobe, and then I can let it off and let it go back to colors and just hit strobe. You know, you can do blackout and then straight into white for a dramatic moment. So say I'm dropping into a thousand miles, I go from like an EDM drop and I cut it real quick, and then it goes, I can hit the white real quick. You can see the options you can play with right there. That is pretty much all you need to know about the top function right there the shift hold and your overrides and your strobe. That's all you need to use. Down here on the bottom, this is what we've been talking about, is our banks. So you can actually, by default, when you first turn it on, all banks will be activated. And again, all I'm doing is just swapping in through the banks. And the footage you guys were just watching was literally me letting it randomize go through bank four, bank three, bank one, etc. So again, bank one is all of your two color combos. Bank two, that's all your three color combos. Bank three, this is all your complex, crazy stuff. You're in 128 going nuts. And bank four is your fades. All right, so those are all the banks. Over here, you'll see a button called auto loop and below it, you'll see static looks. So when I click that, all the buttons now change to mimic all of the static looks that we have available. So we're set up up here. We have it on all white. You guys can program these other ones to be different color combinations. Down here is your cold spark on with whatever static combination you want. So by default, we have it set to basically being white as our traditional open the floors. And then when we click down here, it'll the up lights will stay white and will activate the cold sparks as you will see now. And then of course, over here on the bottom right, these are basically cold sparks on and off 
for any sort of things. So switching over to basically the cold sparks off down here, you will now see basically where I can go through my different banks and have it go complex. I can have a slow down and do fade. But then if I click over to auto loop and then I hit green, I can turn on the cold sparks. And that's just a one hitter, cold sparks on, cold sparks off. And then of course, at the end of the night, hit your clean out up here that's pre-programmed. We're not gonna mess with that right now. So whether you're on auto loops or static loops, down here is your intensity control fader and it's touched so you can raise and lower. Group one is the up lights, group two is going to be, so you hit that, it'll go to group two, group one, group two. So on group two, I can reduce the movers down to nothing. And then on group one, I can reduce the up lights as well down to nothing. Beautiful. Raise those back up. And that is pretty much all the controls on the sound switch control one. So that right there concludes the demo kind of portion of everything that's going on. Again, there is music playing in the background. If I actually raise this up, you can see what the lights were actually bouncing around to. But yeah, let me turn the lights back on real quick and let me explain to you guys how you can set up this exact same setup for your light shows. So like I've mentioned from the beginning and going through this, I didn't actually program anything you guys are seeing here. I actually had my boy Marcellus program everything and he has basically built out the program that me and every one of our five DJs in our company uses at all of our events for the last whole entire year. We perfected it and now we basically have this set up to basically be able to replicate super easily so you guys can get the exact same lighting control that we are using as well. So down below, you're gonna find a link to basically where you can go to bothlightingusa.com where we are now selling the full pre-programmed light show that you can utilize that's already programmed with every single light that you see on our website with the exception of the RF4, RF3, and RF1s. So basically, if you already have both lighting up lights, both lighting movers, etc., both lighting cold sparks, and you wanna move over the DMX, this is already set up, ready to go. You don't have to program a single thing and you'll be up and running with wireless DMX control for your events. Currently, right now, if you wanna get the full entire program, it's only $2.99. And if you already bought up lights from us at bowflightingusa.com, if you guys didn't know, bowflightingusa.com is one of my business ventures. We are the only authorized dealer for both lighting products here in the United States. So we give you guys all the amazing customer service, two year warranties better than the factory and we repair all the lights here. We're awesome to work with. If you guys have any questions, go to bowflightingusa.com, check out the support page, et cetera. But on the website, you guys can go over there now and check out where you can purchase this program for $2.99. If you're already a customer of ours, check your inbox. You will find a discount code where you're gonna get $100 off the actual product. And if you go ahead and buy lights from us in the future, you'll also get $100 off the product to be able to utilize sound switch control with all of our both lighting products already pre-programmed, ready to go for you. With the purchase of the product, you're gonna be able to download the whole entire program sound switch file that you can then import into your sound switch on your computer. We also include videos that walk through everything in terms of how to set it up. Both me and Marcellus filmed the videos walking you through everything in terms of how to set it up, how to set it up on your computer. If you wanna adjust the static scenes, we go through how you actually can set the colors, we go through how you can adjust the movers to your different points. All of that is included in the download as well as a PDF guide for everything involved in this software setup. So basically, if you guys wanna jump onto SoundSwitch and you don't wanna do the hassle of programming, all you need to do is download SoundSwitch, get yourself set up with one of the, their monthly memberships so that you have a license to use the software. You need to purchase a SoundSwitch Control One right here. Right now, they're going for about $240. And you need to get a wireless DMX transmitter if you don't already have one to communicate with your lights. Then you just need to purchase our pre-programmed software on bowflightingusa.com. The link will be down below. You purchase our pre-programmed file with all the instructions, all the details on how to set it up. And we walk you through every single step. And basically, you'll be set and ready to go for your events. I'll also mention we do include a guide that lays out basically what all these buttons do and everything. And we also include a list of what DMX channels you need to set your lights to. And we're gonna be rolling out basically videos for you guys on how to set up each individual fixture to make sure it works perfectly fine. Now, some of you guys might be thinking about the future in terms of if both lighting comes out with some new products, such as 
the Estera knockoff tubes. I get, we have these coming. If you guys are not following me on Instagram, check me out at DJ Rick Webb. But Bow Flighting has prototypes right now of some Estera tubes. The really crazy, awesome tubes. Uh, those are gonna be coming to the channel very soon. Those we will be adding into the Sound Switch software. How you're gonna be able to get that is through our subscription service that's gonna be included with the software. So for just $15 a month, you can sign up for our subscription service where any updates we make to the Sound Switch program will be directly sent out to you if you purchase the product and you are one of our subscriber members. So for $15 a month, basically, if we come up with an update tomorrow, we're gonna send everyone that is a member that updated file with whatever tweaks we might need to make. Again, from user suggestions from the people that are gonna be using it, etc. So when those tubes do come out and we do program them into the lighting software, don't worry if you are a subscriber member, we're gonna have that update coming out for you. If both lighting comes out with a new mover, we actually have some new movers behind me, some beam fixtures. When we get those set up, we're gonna program them into the software and get you guys the update if you are one of the monthly subscribers. If you choose to not be a monthly subscriber, you can pay directly for the upgraded software, but it will be significantly more. I'll also preference if you're watching this video in the future, the price may not be $2.99, especially when we add in these tubes coming soon. The tubes take a lot of programming when it comes to making the tubes do like bounce sequences and chases. So once we implement all of that programming into the software for these tubes and some of the lights in the future, the price may be more than $2.99. But as the release of this video and as of April, 2023, the price is $2.99 unless you are a Bow Flighting customer or you purchase Bow Flighting products on bowflightingusa.com, you're gonna get $100 off that program. So guys, this was a quick walkthrough of my current sound switch lighting control software setup that I'm rocking for all of my events. Check out the gig logs to see more of the lighting actually at events and how it's working. It's crazy simple to use. And one of the best things that I loved was switching over to the software was I didn't have to program it. <laughs> and you guys don't have to program it either. That's one of the biggest hurdles that people have with moving to DMX lighting is the programming phase. And let me tell you, the amount of hours I spent programming sounds or uh, Chave Show Express is probably somewhere damn near a week. And actually from the little bit of programming knowledge I know about sound switch, I actually do know a little bit of the ins and outs of how to program it from what Marcel's has showed me. It is a lot simpler to do than on Chave Show Express. So if you do want to venture down that rabbit hole, there are tons of educational videos online. If you want to spend the hours going through and program it, go for it. Or you guys can go check out our actual full downloadable product that goes through the tutorials of how to set it up. And you guys literally will not have to program a single damn thing. And you guys can get up and running with the sound switch lighting control software. You don't have to worry about programming it. We did all the color combos, all the movements. They're all programmed, all ready to go. So if you go purchase our pre-programmed file, that's the exact same light show that I use, that all my guys at FSL use, Use, and you don't have the exact same lighting fixtures as we do, we actually included a video that walks you through how to add in those fixtures. It's extremely simple to do. Because all the programming is already done, Sound Switch, one of the coolest things about it is when you add in new fixtures, you don't actually have to do any more programming. If you have ADJ Element hex pars or ADJ pars, etc., all you have to do is go find that fixture in the sound switch program and add it in. You can set it to whatever DMX channel you want and then you just drop it into the folder that corresponds to those tracks, to those lighting program tracks. So rest assured, this program comes already set up, ready to go for all the both lighting fixtures you may have. But if you have other fixtures outside of the both lighting lineup, it's already set up and ready to go. You can add those fixtures in as well. Again, if you guys want more info on this full product, please go check out bowflightingusa.com. We'll link it down below and you guys can check out the product. As of right now, April, 2023, the product is $2.99. If you are a past both lighting customer or if you choose to go buy some up lights right now on both flighting.com you'll get a hundred dollars off of that price it'll only be 199 and you'll get the full 
downloadable pre-programmed file to add in the sound switch and you'll be set ready to go. The only thing outside of that that you need to get is a sound switch subscription for $7.99. You need to pick up yourself a sound switch control one. Again, this is selling for $2.49. We'll include a link for you to purchase that on Amazon. You can get it super fast and you need a wireless DMX transmitter. You can get those on Amazon. We have links for that or you can buy them with your both lighting products on bothlightingusa.com as well. So we're at that point in the video. If any of you guys are still watching the video at this point, if you guys could please do me a big favor, go put hashtag squad in the comments down below. I will like it. I will heart it because I love knowing all the people that have watched the video all the way to the end. You guys are the loyal supporters of the channel and I thank you guys so much for allowing me to make these videos, educate the DJ community and really give back. Any comments, any questions related to the sound switch product that we are releasing, anything related to that, any new videos you want me to do, do you want me to showcase any of the videos? We might release some of the videos in terms of how you set up our software. Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Check out bothlightingusa.com and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.